All right, back with another video. This is like an extension of my last video, the A to Z of sampling. So today I'm just gonna be showing you how to sample from a turntable. So I've got this turntable here, it's a Cam DDX 680 direct drive turntable. And um, it's got a couple of connections at the back. So I'm just gonna swing around to the back and show you how I'm gonna sample and what connections I'm gonna use. So let me just take you around the back. So here's the back of the unit, back of the turntable. So here we got, we got the right and left um, phono jacks coming out there with a ground. See the ground here? Make sure these three are connected. Okay. Right, left, ground. Okay. But on this turntable, it has something else. It's got a digital output, as you can see there. So I'm going to be using this as well. So I'm just going to connect that using an SP diff cable. Okay. Connect that to the output. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you the back of the MPC 4000, how I'm going to connect it up. So let me just swing around and show you that. All right, so I've just come around to the back of the MPC 4000. And you've got to have your left and right phono plugs going in here, as you can see. And you've got to have your ground plugged in there. Otherwise, you'll get like a load of distortion and stuff like that. So that's how you connect it, okay? And when you're sampling from a turntable on the MPC 4000, you don't need an amplifier or a mixer. You can just plug your record deck straight in and it has a built-in amplifier. So the only thing you have to do is there's a switch right here, as you can see. Okay. So input select switch. You can either select your normal analogs or your phono, line or phono. So now I'm just going to switch it over to phono. So that's all you got to do. You don't need any amp. You don't need anything. You can just wire it. You can just plug it straight in. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you the digital connection, the digital input from the turntable into the back of the MPC. So this is the digital input on the back of the MPC. Plug it out so you can see. So you want to plug the other end of the digital SP diff cable from the turntable into the back here, into the back of the MPC into the digital in and that's it we're all ready to go all right so now we're at the front so once you've switched on your stuff switched on your turntable you've got it all connected you switched on your mpc now you're at the main screen what you want to do from here is you want to press the record button the mode record button which is one of the 15 mode buttons what are on the right hand side of the MPC 4000. So you just touch the record mode button and then you come to this screen here. So I've got my turntable set up on phono. I've got it on digital as well. But right now I'm just gonna show you the analog. So you, from here, input source, you just select analog in and then whatever mode you want to, to, to sample in. We've got stereo, mono left or mono right. And then obviously you can also select 16 or 24 bit from here. And then you've got this auto normalize, like I showed you in the last video. You can set your original root key here and then you've got your monitor. So here you're gonna need your monitor on because you've got the turntable connected directly to the back of the MPC. So there's no loop there. So you have to put the monitor on here to hear anything coming out. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a quick sample off of a record in analog. We're just gonna leave it in stereo 16 bit. 
and we'll just take the sample. So here we set the threshold as usual. Set the time. We just got ten seconds. We're not we're not doing nothing with the sample, so we'll just leave it like that. So I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna press start. And we're just gonna hit the record. I'm gonna hit the record button. It's a bit jumpy, so I'm gonna hit the record button, it's gonna start recording. So there you go. In fact, that's a bit low. I'm gonna do it again. Turn the volume up a bit. So we just press retry. And as you can see, it stops when the time is over and it gives you this screen here. So we'll just keep this. So we'll just press keep and it will save as sample one. You can set the name if you want. I've showed you everything like that already in the, in the previous video. So now we've got that sample. I'm gonna show you now how to sample with the effects on. So here, there's no risk of a loop because you're going directly from the turntable into the back of the MPC. So there's no loop. So with the monitor on, you can hear in real time the effects of the effect that you're putting on. So in order to do this, we're just going to press QFX, which is F4. Get to the QFX page. And then from here, we're going to scroll on the mode. It's off currently, so if I scroll here, it will change. So we've got this command feature here. Here you can have two simultaneous command effects on, like I explained to you in the last video. So let's just play it and see what it sounds like. Here it's switching. Like I said before, you can change. You can change the settings of each command effect. So let's just take a quick sample of one of these effects. Now. So we just close this page here. That's it. That's how you take a sample in real time from a turntable with the with the command effect on. So we'll just keep that. So we press F6 keep. So now we press Q effects again, which is F4. Remember, you can have two command effects on simultaneously. So here we're going to go back up to mode and we're going to scroll again across to effects. And here, like I explained in the last video, you can either have two stereo linked effects or you can have four separate ones. OK, so here I'm just going to select. I'm just going to select any effect. So I'm going to press. You can see you can edit each effect like I showed you in the last video. So as you can hear, as you can hear, it's putting the effect on and you can hear it in real time. So that's how you basically do that. So you can have four effects 
separately. You can have four individual effects on simultaneously, or you can have two stereo linked effects on. Okay, that's how you control them here. Or you can press edit to go into the edit to edit that individual effect. So now I'll just record it with this with this effect on here. This chorus. Okay. So I'll come out here, close. So that's it. So if I play that. As you can hear, it's recorded with the effect on. So that's how you sample from a turntable. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. So we just keep that. We'll press keep. So remember, if you want to sample in digital, you just go up to your input source here and select digital. Select digital in. And that's it. That's how you do it. So if you want to look <clears throat> at your samples that you just recorded, remember, you press the sample mode button. There you go there. You've got sample one. Two. there sample list remember you can change the mode and the bit rate so you can sample at 24 bit even if this even if the signal that's coming in is 16 it will convert it to 24 same here you can change the mode you can have you can have stereo or mono right or left and that's it so that is the complete a to z of how to sample on a mpc 4000 so you can use the digital input as well like i showed you in the last video and you can use it for various things you can use it from synthesizers some synthesizers have like a digital output and then you have some cd players they have a digital output. So it's whatever. That's how to sample using an MPC 4000. And that's another reason why you should buy one. So yeah, tune in for the next video. The next video I'll probably be doing the sample mode button. This here, this page here. I'm gonna give a complete run through on this page next in my next tutorial video. So watch out for that one. And peace out. See you on the next video.